Hey guys, Maddie Sees Voices here, back with another tutorial. I've had a lot of comments about how to do the Venom voice live, so I'm going to show you here today how to do it live uh, through Adobe Audition, and even how to make a phone call with it, like, you know, a prank call, so some of my prank calls that I'll make through Skype. So, it should be a lot of fun, hopefully you find it helpful, let's get to it. Okay guys, my setup is a Mac Mini and uh, the 2018 version. So I got the, the higher processor, the 3.2 gigahertz, the Intel Core i7, and I upgraded it to 32 gig RAM. So it's been working pretty well for me, for my needs. For my mic, I have the SC Electronics 2300. Um, it's been a pretty solid mic, a cardioid condenser mic. And my preamp that I'm using is the, uh, the Behringer, if you can see it here, the Behringer uh, Euphoria UMC 404 HD. So it's a, a four channel uh, preamp. That has been working well for me too. So that's just a little bit about my setup and my gear. I'll have the links down below for you to check those out. So let's get into the tutorial now. Okay, so we're gonna be using four different programs here today that we're gonna be talking about. Adobe Audition, uh, Loopback, um, Audio Hijack and Skype, of course, to make a phone call if you wanted to do that. So the first program we're going to look at and set up is Loopback. So what is Loopback? So Loopback is a cable-free audio routing program for Mac. So we're going to be talking about doing this on the Mac. I'm not as familiar with the Windows setup, but these same principles should come into play here. Um, also, there are some alternatives for Windows. So again, these, these programs are Mac specific, but uh, for Audio Hijack and Loopback, there are some Windows uh, options as well. And I will leave the links down below so you guys can check them out. So the first program we're gonna look at is Loopback. And the first thing we need to do here is we need to set up a new virtual device. Basically, after the voice goes into the microphone and run through Adobe Audition, and then the effects are put into it, we need to record those effects uh, into Skype so that um, the person on the other line can hear uh, the voice and um, so that it, it, it's able to be recorded with the person on the other line and the voice with the effect. So um, we need to basically route that through, start a new um, virtual device. So we're going to come down here to the plus right here. I'm going to click plus and you get to name it um, something. Uh, what? whatever you want so we'll call oops we'll call this guy venom voice live so we'll just call it that so we know what we're doing here and it's going to and with audition it's going to bring up a dialog box to say do you want to check the preferences with the uh, the audio hardware which we will get to that uh, in a minute so we have this new virtual device so what we want to do is we want to come over here and click on this plus up here we want to bring Adobe Audition through and add this to it so that it can go into the output channel. So we have Adobe Audition, so we want to add this, and that's looking good there. So that is set up, and we have our Venom Voice Live virtual device. Okay guys, so next let's look at Audio Hijack. So right here we have the interface. So what is Audio Hijack? Um, let's take a look. Here is the web page for it. I'll leave a link in the description below. Basically, uh, you can record any applications audio, you know, including voice over IP calls from Skype and get the audio from Safari. Okay, so here in Audio Hijack, we want to basically have the audio from Skype and our input device, which is gonna be running through Adobe Audition. Uh, we're going to get that Venom voice effect and we want it to record into one file. So to do a new one, we're going to go um, session new and we want to do application audio here. So we can click on that and it sets you up with kind of a default. So here the recorder, I like to go uncompressed AIF app. just that I have an uncompressed file. I can get try to get the best audio that I can get. So the output device is going to be whatever your output device is, whatever you have hooked up here. I'm, I'm using my UMC 404 HD that my, my four channel preamp so that I can actually bring it back in through my headphones. So application, we're going to choose this one. We're going to come here and we're going to look for Skype. It should be in here. If it's not, you can uh, go to other application if it's not showing up for you. So we're going to do Skype. So we need to add another, we need to add the, the input device. So we're going to click here. We're going to drag this guy 
and it will show up. We want it to point to this recorder here and you can either leave it like that or I just like to kind of put it there so I know, okay, both of these are going into the recorder into the output device. So here we want to choose uh, the Venom Voice Live. And then basically, once you have all this set up, you can go session, export session. You can save it whichever you want, you know, call it Venom Voice Live, and that way you always have it, and you can bring it back up again in case you ever need it. A nice save setting, which is great. Now we're gonna go to Adobe Audition. I have it set up here with a multi-track. That's, um, you're gonna need to set it up as a multi-track. So you come up here, file new, multi-track session. And um, basically call it whatever you want, save it. You can browse here to where you wanna save it. Make sure you save it. The default here is fine, 48,000 hertz, 32 float stereo is fine you can click OK and it'll bring up options like this like you see here those are kind of your, your basic tracks what you want to make sure you have done here in the first track to start out is you're gonna to want to click arm for record and monitor input basically that monitor input is going to send the the feedback to your headphones so you can hear it and it's also going to make it so that the voice will come through into Skype so that the other person on the other line can hear it. I tried it once without it just to make sure and if you don't have that clicked, it's not gonna, the feed is not gonna go through into Skype. And then over here on the left, you'll see the effects rack and that's where we're gonna work the Venom effects to do it live. But before we do that, we're gonna wanna go to Adobe Audition here, the preferences, and we're gonna wanna go to audio hardware. I'm on a Mac, again, the only option here I'm gonna have is uh, Core Audio. On a Windows machine, you're gonna have MME or ASIO, I believe. Um, I'm not as familiar with Windows, so you might have to look this up too, but from the research that I've, I, I believe you're gonna wanna choose MME or ASIO. For me, on the Mac, I still have some latency issues, which means once I speak the voice and it goes through the system it basically puts the effect to the voice by the time it gets back to my headphones there's a little bit of a delay which can kind of mess with you I haven't found a solution yet on the Mac to make it even better for latency on the Windows machine you should be better off with MME or ASIO up here in your device class that should solve that for you from the research that I did now here for the default input you're gonna to want to have whatever your device is if you have a four channel mixer if you have whatever you might have the USB it should show up here and you're gonna to want to choose that default for the default output here you're gonna to want to save whatever you did back in loopback um, for me I know that loopback audio 2 uh, will work. I think because I had it open and I saved the new one, I would have to quit Adobe Audition to get the other one to show up. But I know Loopback Audio 2 works for me, so I'm going to choose that one. I still like to use the internal clock for my device. Uh, with the buffer size, a lot of times that will help out your latency uh, issue, but sometimes if you get too low, you'll start to hear clicks and it'll mess up your audio. So usually 64 or 128 uh, should be okay and, and you should be good. You might have to play around with it, but that should be good right there like that. Okay, so now let's talk about the effects over here. Um, you might wanna check out my uh, Venom tutorial video with Adobe Audition previously. I'll leave a link down below that goes into more detail about the, uh, the, the effects that I use and such. We're gonna do them over here. Now they're not quite as specific and as good doing them live as recording your voice and then doing the, the effects over top. You still get pretty close. So I have it saved here as a preset here. My Venom 8, 10, 19. So when I select it, it should sound like the voice of Venom. So I'm just going to switch it here back to default so you can hear my voice. Basically, when you have all those on, um, the effects will come through and should make it sound like Venom. All right, so now we're back at default. Basically, I'm just going to show you here how to add all these um, all these tracks. First one here, we're going to go to, let's see here, filter EQ, parametric equalizer. And again, I explained this more in my other video, but these are the settings that I use. Feel free to pa pause the video and uh, write these down. I'm gonna turn this off for now though. So we have that one. Now, whenever you, whenever these are good to go, you, you're gonna wanna have them, make sure they're all green and then you'll have the effects. That means they're turned on. So the second one here, we're gonna do single band compressor. Uh, right here and again I have this already set up but you can write down the numbers so we're gonna have that the third one here is going to be pitch and shift time and pitch pitch shifter I usually like to do about negative three as you can hear so I'm gonna turn this off but uh, usually around negative three and, and 50 you can mess around with this 
to a little bit, um, get it to your liking. Uh, the fourth one here, we're going to do FFT filter. So filter in EQ and FFT filter. This is about what I have it. Again, I have it saved as a setting and I go into all that um, in my other video. The fifth one here is the uh, graphic equalizer. So we're gonna go equalizer um, and I like to use the setting possible base. Now, if you notice here, you can't change it. It's going to automatically come up with the last setting that you had used. So before doing that, I like to just open up a regular file, file, new audio file, and then just come into effects up here, filter EQ, graphic equalizer, and just make sure you have possible base selected. Click apply and it'll at least save that for you. And then when you come in here, it will basically pull up the last one that you had saved. I'm gonna do that here. Yep, possible base. Okay, this guy here, uh, we are going to do number six, is going to be the single band compressor. I like to do a little bit of light mastering here. This guy, so take that off. And the seventh, and again, normally you would have all these green. I just didn't want it to affect my voice as I'm talking right now, but normally once you're done, you keep them green. And, and then, I'll, then I'll show you how to save it up here as a preset. So the last one, like to do here is the uh, chorus and flanger. And come up here, I have this, again, saved as Venom 1. Now this one, it lets you choose um, for whatever reason. The other one, it doesn't let you choose it at this at this spot. Um, so these are what I have there. And then once you have the tracks set up uh, as you want them, you can come over here to this little guy here and you can save the effects rack as a preset. So you can click on that and then just call it what you want and click OK and it'll save it. So every time you come back in, all you have to do is select the preset and you're good to go. Once you would have all these set, they would all be green and they would look like this. And it would hopefully sound like Venom. Okay, so we are going to want to go to Skype to kind of put it all together to do uh, a prank call. So in Skype here, we're gonna wanna go to um, Skype audio and video settings. And we want to make sure where it says microphone here that you have it selected to the Venom Voice Live that we set up earlier in loopback. It will register the effects done through Adobe Audition and bring them uh, into Skype. And once you have that set up, just click out of that and we're good to go to make a phone call. Now that's set it set up there in Skype but what we want to do is we want to come back here and make sure that we have the presets ready to go and what I like to do as a backup is up here in this track one since it's armed for recording is I just like to click here and record it as a backup now it's not going to record the Skype side the the other end of the telephone call but it will record your own voice um, just to have it as a backup in case it doesn't record let's just make a, a phone call we'll call my phone and just kind of leave a message and you'll see kind of how it's done okay so once we're ready to go here first we want to come over here to audio hijack and we want to start the recording so we're going to click on that right now it's just showing the input device once we get skype dialed in you'll see this guy go with the yellow motion as well so we're going to come over here and now i'm going to put on the effects and you're gonna hear my voice change. Okay, so now it's a sound more like Venom. Do a backup recording up here just in case. So I'm going to click record. Now we're going to go over here to Skype and make a phone call. Hello, you've reached Matt Creason. He's not in right now, but if you leave your name, number, and a brief message, he'll get back to you as soon as humanly possible. Thank you. Hello. Yes, we are Venom, and we heard you would like to hear a recording of Venom on your voicemail. So, have a good day, sir. Okay, and that's basically how you do it. And we're still recording here on Audio Hijack, so I'm going to stop this recording. And in uh, Audio Hijack, it will then uh, save your recordings. So you can go here, click on this guy, Recordings, and your latest one will be up here. And if you right click here, you can go reveal and finder and it will show you um, up here what your file name is and you can rename it and save it somewhere else where you need it. But Audio Hijack puts them all in, in a folder there for you so you have them there. Okay guys, hopefully that made sense and uh, hopefully that works for you. Um, that's kind of how I do it. You know, that might not be the, the best way, but that's how I do it. 
um, and that's the way it works for me. I have a lot of fun with it, as you can tell. Look forward for more Venom prank calls for sure. So look out for more of those videos. They're a lot of fun to do. Thanks, guys, for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe uh, to keep up with, with all the videos. Lots of good stuff coming up. Have a good one. God bless.